Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. The G8 is an exclusive club consisting of leaders of the eight major world governments. They meet once a year and are often received quite warmly by protesters. They could have come to Chicago in 2004, but they instead went to some remote island off of Georgia. Shucks, and I was looking forward to a house party. I guess they learned something from the G8 Summit of 2005 when they met up in Glen Eagles, Scotland to be met by these creative protesters. Let's watch what happened. You're watching Chicago Independent Television.
going on in Andy's room? He's been in there all day. He's um making some decisions about the apartment. What are you talking about? Well, for one, I think he wants to paint it green. He told me that we're either for him or against him. We should, I mean, we should all decide, don't you so think? you're against him. No! He said he's gonna come out and answer some questions anyways a little later, so. Here he is, here he is. I just want you guys to know that we're painting the apartment green. So. Wait, 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 Question, wait. Um, could could we just leave it? Could we leave it the way it is? Okay, thank you very much. Qu hey. what, what about the plumbing? Plumbing's still bad. Are we gonna get a screen door or just that net? Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. This is a pretty serious piece. It's called Walking to New Orleans and it's about these Iraq war veterans who were critical of the war and have returned to America to help out and march on behalf of Hurricane Katrina victims. Take a look. That was Camilo Mejia. For those of you that may not know, he was in jail for yeah. those of you redeployed into Iraq. Yeah. 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 We are not We are not God's children. We do not have a higher calling. We are acting reckless and irresponsible. We are selfish. We are ignorant. And we celebrate those things. I am not special. Have a proper education. I can't recycle enough alone to prevent total devastation. I don't have a clue what I eat. I can't see what I breathe in. I seem to be much too ignorant about my own state of being. More so than I suppose. I would like to admit vulnerability. So nice to see you again. You've always been a friend. My capabilities seem to multiply when you're near me. The scope of the aim seems to stretch far past multiple skies. Limits of further birds down. Low right, sometimes I feel as though I'm observing things with a different set of eyes. It's probably just all in my mind as I try to make sense and try to channel light and at the same time try to believe my eyes. We are not special, we are not progressing, we are not God's children, we do not have a higher calling, we are acting reckless and irresponsibly, we are selfish, we are ignorant, and we celebrate those things. Succumbing to the lesser nature of things We are acting reckless and irresponsibly We are selfish, we are arrogant And we celebrate those things Seas of green in between Eating and sleeping a peak Through walls always sweet smelling When I'm able to breathe Endless seas of data circulating Waiting to be obtained Processed and either utilized or discarded But one man's rubbish be another's abundant satisfaction it's all mathematical but don't ask me for the equation to explain it are my thoughts logical or creative do either of those aspects of thinking meet up somewhere in between remember it feels just like reality in a dream the threshold of sanity another reason that i'm prone to drink perhaps i shouldn't overanalyze when i think perhaps when i'm able to accomplish that i can receive insomnia relief do i lack the ability Feel past me? Do I lack the willpower to reach and find a better path? Am I acting reckless and irresponsibly? Am I selfish? Am I arrogant? Do I succumb to the lesser side of me? We are not special. We are not progressing. We are not God's children. We do not have a higher calling. We are acting reckless and irresponsibly. We are selfish. We are ignorant. And we celebrate those things. I just wanted to uh, to tell you guys that um, that along the march, and I think this has been the same experience as um, a lot of the other Iraq veterans, is that uh, looking at the devastation that we've seen on on the way on, along the Gulf Coast, uh, it's um it's reminding us all very much of Iraq and uh, and and the way that the buildings look bombed out and um, just the destruction and it's uh it's hard because there's a psychological disconnect I think that that Iraq sort of looks destroyed, like in, in, in many of our minds we saw it, like Iraq looks destroyed. And we saw that same destruction there on the Gulf Coast. And that's why it's really hard to come to grips with, this is America. I kept having to tell myself over and over again, this is America. Why is this happening in America? And I think about how, how Kellogg, Brown and Root can build a fully functional base in, in, in 30 days with all the comforts of living, with laundry and showers and trailers to live in. 
and they, they, they can they, they, they can do that and they are doing that all over Iraq right now and for some reason it's not being done on the Gulf Coast the money's being wasted in Iraq and it's not building schools there and, and clinics it's building bases it's building permanent bases and it's not being spent here and that's 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 incredible to me and um the the other thing I wanted to say um, is that uh, we had an interview with uh, with Al Jazeera two days ago um, and they interviewed a whole group of us and uh, we stood together and said that we stand in solidarity with the uh, with the people of Iraq with the people of the Gulf Coast and with the uh, the, the hurricane survivors and and with our soldiers overseas we stand in solidarity with all of them and um, I think that sent a very very powerful message uh, to to the people of the Arabic world and um, I was I was just really happy that Al Jazeera could do that interview for us. So, uh, oh, by the way, they wanted me to mention we're selling um, IVAW T-shirts and everything in the back. Um, so, so please uh, support the organization. Thank you. Make levies, not bombs. Make levies, not bombs. Make levies, not bombs. Make levies, not bombs. The attack just be a metal and a shotgun. This all I'm left with will pay back for the fact that I was part of a vicious attack. Just me. You've been watching Chicago Independent Television, a project of the Chicago Independent Media Center Video Collective. The Independent Media Center is a growing worldwide network of media producers, journalists, citizens, and activists, working to put the media in the hands of everyday people and away from corporate and commercial interests. To learn more, visit our website at chicago.indymedia.org. There you can find out about upcoming Chicago area events and how to get involved in making your own media including how to help make this very TV show. Thanks for watching. See you next time. So I started this crazy oh. song. So I started this great. Is there even any point in doing that now? Well, ready? Mm -hmm. And? And? The G8. Ooh. Oh. Digital right. Digital rights. Sorry. The G8. <laughs> <laughs> Control 4. Take 4. What is it about? Digital rights management. Can you say that three times in a row? Digital rights. Digital rights management. See. Show intro C, take four. Stand by. Should you're the wacky intern. Ah. <laughs> okay. Stand by. Stand by. Stand, top. Wait, stand by. And stand by, nice and friendly. And nobody make any noise. This is presence for all the intros. So, oh. oh, don't don't say anything. Presence. And presence.